So right before I even begin this video again, I'd like to give a big shout out to the actual creators because definitely ones that go out and do this because this is something that I would like to do. Like, I never thought about going out and doing it or getting the mic and actually doing it, but I will do it one day. This is Sprout, I think. Or I'm probably, yeah, Sprout. I'm pretty sure it's Sprout. 80 year olds. <laughs> Jesus. I just came from watching Harry Potter with guns. A different recommendation than this. But now we're getting back into the more serious lunar for this. So this is 80 year old share their biggest mistakes. Which is an interesting, interesting thing. And then, um, yeah. Uh, I went down to the comments and the first thing I seen was obviously Sprout's pin comment. But another comment under that one that said, My dad got a PhD in his 40s, wrote a book in his 50s, started a business enterprise in his 60s, and is heading towards 70s and is calm, fit, and healthy. And he told me he compared Earth, er, he told me that compared to Earth, we are children and there's no such thing as old age. It's how you feel and live. And that's so serious. I talk about it in my videos. Feeling is the secret. This whole thing, like, well, I don't say feeling is a secret. I say reality is an emotional mirror. Feeling is a secret is Neville Goddard, which he noticed. I love it because Neville Goddard is also a dancer. Anyways, before I get too off track, welcome back to another video. Sending out a lot of love. Shout out to Sprout if you would like me to take down my video. I do not mind. I definitely do not mind. And let's get into this because I feel like the summed up of what a lot of them are going to say too, like, because they're going to share. He, he has them sharing mistakes, but they're going they're probably going to have like the wisdom of like don't care about what people think like really go and chase your dream because maybe some of them i'm not saying all of them get that but honestly that's what it's been summed up to for me even my grandma before she passed she was like i just want you to be happy in life whatever you're doing and that happiness comes from within and whatever is external to you like will never affect the internal blah blah, blah. Ah. My grandma, man. I love my grandma. I really do. I, I like really do wish I could have showed her everything I've accomplished with this channel. But, you know, she's out there in the cosmos. All right, let's get it. What is a big mistake that you have made or a big regret that you have? Oh, let's get very personal. I really, really effing regret that. Ew, I did that. You can't just lie in bed and eat cookies. Getting old is not for the faint of heart. They look at you like you're worthless. Have you ever wondered what the regrets of some of the oldest yet wisest people in the world are? Yeah. Or maybe some pieces of life advice that they would give to someone of your age? In this video, I'm going to be interviewing retired seniors in their 60s, 70s, and 80s about their best pieces of life advice and their... I, w I don't mean to stop him. I wonder what I'm going to learn because I always get from older people and I always hang around like older people is that I'm an old soul. So like, like there was a, a teacher, I talk about this in my video, in one of my old videos that said like, I'm wise beyond my years, like way beyond my years because of a lot of life experience I went through when I was younger. So it's like, and I'm 22 now. So I wonder if it's going to be a lot of aligned, like aligned with a lot of the things that I already have as core values and beliefs i'm interested if there's anything new that i'll learn deepest regrets how old are you i'm 70. what does it feel like you're great to be man it feels one year older than 69. <laughs> and what does 69 feel like one year older than 68. here's what it feels like <laughs> you look the same i love that looking out but people see you entirely differently and in today's world they look at you like you're worthless you feel like you played tackle football the day before just can't remember why you feel so sore and you're up and you're doing things and you're just really sore and then uh, you go into the bathroom and you go like this because all of a sudden there's this old face in front of you and you go holy shit i'm old i forgot I played hockey until a couple of years ago. i quit at the 84. I take no medication i don't remember when i've ever had it feel good how old are you that's so good see <laughs> strive to be that 73. Can you describe to me what it feels like to be 73? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Depends what, what life you had before. How was your life? It's absolutely great. I was born in France, came to Canada when I was very young. What is a big mistake that you've made? Yeah, like he said, it depends on the life you had before. It really does. Like, I feel like, you know, it's, of course, it's all perspectives. Like the, the woman jumping in there and saying, ah, oh, this sucks, but... I mean, or a big regret that you have that you learned a valuable lesson from. I got married when I was very young. Like, I don't know how old you are, but I have grandchildren that are in their 30s. So I would probably have lived life a little bit more than 
getting married then. How old were you when you got married? 18. What age would you get married at, let's say, today? Probably in my 30s. I think like I'm 23, but physically I don't feel like I'm 23. And then the world looks at you differently, and they respond differently. Can you no. elaborate on that? Well, I think as a woman, you feel a little invisible as you get older. When you're younger, you get a lot of attention, a lot of people you know, look at you and talk to you. I don't think we value older people. I think we think they're kind of like out of date. Oh, I'm tired, man. It's like... I feel like, sir, for me, it's always been like because of my grandma they are filled with so much wisdom at times but then it's also it's also experience too because you can meet people that i mean if you're going to meet people older they definitely have went through stuff but there are definitely things that i've went through that most adults have not went through like literally like i was in high school and learned that a lot of my a lot of my peers the ones that like the teachers that i got close with or certain ones haven't even experienced some of the shit that I've experienced. Gravity so. has been holding on to me for a long fucking time. I'm like so many people who suddenly look up and go, what, 73, when did that happen? I'm not ready for Medicare yet, but I'll take it. When you look at the 20-somethings <laughs> of today, what is one thing you don't like about them? The social media stuff. All the selfies and the kind of marketing oneself as a product. You can't sit in an airport or even in a park and talk to anybody because everybody's like this. Put it away, turn it off. <laughs> I, feel I mean, I'm with her in that. I like taking pictures for myself though and you go look at my social media it's weird man but I, I it's like i do it for me i just like it for like the memory holding aspect but man i say that all the time too i have a metaverse video where someone thought like i was oh man dude that shit i'm not gonna lie that's one moment that tested my resolve as a content creator when the dude was like oh come on you're just hyping this shit for the fucking video because i started crying but no, that shit is serious. I'm 22, and like sometimes I, I was, I had this drilled in me at like 18 that I fucking hated this generation, <laughs> because that shit is true, bro. You, like, at the end of the day, I feel like how the laws of the universe work. You're always gonna run into scenarios that you have set up for yourself before you incarnated here. So regardless, you're gonna meet the people you're meant to meet, and you're gonna meet those connections that are lifelong. And I've, I've met that. But like when you try to branch out and really feel like, like meet those people at times there was times where you were shown the actual realities of the world of where people are fucking absorbed in this shit and that's just what it is and i rather instead of seeing this world become a complete cyberpunk world i'd rather see a technology get more integrated with nature itself but it feels like we're making this big ass hop again in this matrix to a fucking everybody being trapped inside black mirror vr headset shit and i will not succumb to a world like that even if it meant like i was a part of a resistance bro you know i'm so beyond that shit that it's just like yo you really do miss a lot but you know that's extreme i haven't gone to a park and like there's a video on my channel where i went to a park shot a video and met a guy with a beautiful ass dog and it's like not everybody is absorbed but funny enough he was um he was older i just caught my alarm i have an alarm set for every hour to affirm keep affirmations going through my head but um like he wasn't fucking f on his phone like this but you know. I feel like there's a whole language of images that i just don't have the training to get because it didn't happen with me from birth which kind of uh, makes me feel left out a little. What does it feel like to be 75? It feels wonderful. I just signed a seven-year employment contract. And what does it feel like to be 69? Like I just have learned enough to get started. A little bit of walking yeah. problems, head not in tune with the body. Every now and again I'm reminded that I'm not 40 anymore, I'm 59 and I'm 60 next year and that's surprising. If you could give one piece of advice to someone younger than you, what would you say? Don't worry so much about things. I worried about everything when I was young. After a while you just think, what's the point just do it because we were mental health nurses i can say not being happy is not the same as being ill but i think there's a big emphasis on mental health it encourages people to think that if they're not happy all the time there's something wrong as opposed to it's just normal life sometimes you're happy about things sometimes you're not happy about things what is the biggest mistake or biggest regret that you have in your life ah i well, fuck with I that i've traveled more i mean i've traveled a lot but i really enjoy that i'm sorry i let one of the languages i knew when i was younger go i also really really effing regret that i didn't take advantage of public schools here i could have learned to play a musical instrument for whatever reason i didn't do i think it was because i didn't think my parents had enough money to buy me an instrument i didn't do it and now i regret it desperately you know i really wish i had learned to 
play music because it's very, very important. See, and this is the biggest thing. I love that, like, he can voice this. He probably is comfortable, you know, like, content in a way with, with himself. But that's one of the biggest things, regret. Don't, you don't want to regret, bro. If your, like, heart is really pulling you in a direction, do it. Because you never see, what, you never know what's going to happen. And I don't want to get, that's the biggest thing for me that I've always learned. Or learned early on. I don't want to get to the end of life and regret anything. I feel like it's in me, but I don't know how to get, express it. How old are you? 83. 84. What does it feel like to be... I'm 85. Oh, uh, yesterday, <laughs> was yesterday I was 84. What does it feel like to be 83 and 85? Old. Getting old is not for the faint of heart. Thank God my health is fine. Me, I have a long medical history. I'm a swimmer. I can swim a thousand yards. Can you swim a thousand yards? When did you start saying that you felt old when my son says that i should sell the house and uh, move into a uh, assisted living and think that you, you feel old how do you feel about that what can i do i mean uh, i'm upright <laughs> it's pretty good i don't want to go through my life again but we do look at all you young people and we envy you because we think you have so many choices physically i feel fine mentally i feel fine a little more tired but i regret some of the mistakes i made i'm a nurse i okay. help People die who are much younger than me. I'm still standing. Life is sweet. We are slowly losing our memory, and I realize that, and this worries me. Physically, I feel uh, younger, but mentally, I feel older. What is something that when we're younger, we tend to prioritize, but as we get older, we realize isn't that important? Time. It just seems to me young people are always in such a hurry, such a hurry. I understand it. The world is out there to be taken, you know. So if I go here, I go there, I go here, I go there. But um, I think just calm down and proceed sensibly. What people think of you? How does that change over time? I really don't care anymore. And I used to care not a lot, but you know, you did want to fit in. I used to have a hierarchy in my mind. There were like the cool people and the popular people, and then there was the nerdy people like me. And now I realize there's no hierarchy. So what matters then? You know, at the end of the day, it's community. The ability to connect to people and do something that's meaningful to you that maybe is productive for the world, but maybe not. <laughs> stuff. The older you get, like the more you go, stuff. yes, you're going, why do I have all this stuff? Competitiveness. You really don't have to beat everybody at all costs so who do you have to beat yourself is there some oh that was so fire yeah most of the stuff that they're saying is yeah stuff like i just have ingrained in me and that's what like separated me a lot from my peers is that i've already i already think like this and believe like this one thing i want to say but i don't want to say it yet and i'll wait till we get to the end of the video to say it but i'm just noticing something but th that's that's all right you know it could just be the area that and I'm not a big person on this. You can learn from everybody. Everybody's humans. We tend to but prioritize a lot when we're younger, but as we get older, we realize isn't actually that important. Yes, uh, worrying about women. Can you elaborate on that? Yes. Uh, be careful. <laughs> I never worried about earning a living. I was a chemist. You gave me money, I made crap out of it. We worry about what oh, everybody else, that's dope. else thinks of us and uh, what we look like. It's rubbish. Our cosmetics and our hair and our face. Yeah. You guys don't have to worry about it so much, but we women, we're encouraged to spend encouraged, a lot of money on yeah. it. It's a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of life. What is one regret that you have or one mistake that you have made that you learned a valuable lesson from? Not being. Oh my gosh, I want to pause and send that to somebody. Like, bruh, I be trying to say this shit. Oh, I'm gonna send it after. Let's go. Being kind enough and generous enough. Not getting too enough. caught up in someone hurt my feelings or they didn't do things the way I thought and getting rigid about it instead of just going, you know what, it'll all work out in the end. We both love to travel. I think we waited until we thought, oh, we can afford that. It would have been much more fun to travel when we were younger at less nice places. So we didn't start really traveling until we were about 50. So yes, we can afford nicer places to go, but it would have been much more fun to have done some backpack stuff. You know, I was too competitive sometimes at work back in the old days where I felt that winning was what was important and I probably didn't treat some people very nicely. That came at the expense of friendships and of my own comfort. Now looking back and kind of going like, ew, I did that. If you went back in time. She has a really nice smile too, but damn, you she's on. What would you have done? She reminds me of my aunt. Treat people as you want to be treated. Sometimes when you make a choice when you're in your 20s, you don't realize the implications of how things are going to roll out in your life. Although I graduated college and I got a master's degree, I should have studied a little harder. I went to a two-year college, but I should have gone to a four-year college. It would have been better. What is the biggest mistake that you've made that you oh. regret? Oh, let's get very personal. I married too young. I wasn't growing up yet. I was very early 20s. My first wife was 20, and we were still developing. I think 
mid to late 20s before one gets too permanent with anybody because you're still changing. That's my biggest regret, I think. If you could give one piece mm. of advice to someone younger than you, Marrying what would you say? Early. Keep active, don't smoke, don't drink, and uh, have fun, you know, enjoy yourself. Don't be a follower. Be an independent mind. Have your Let's own go! Yes! Otherwise you are going to become a robot. We used to, when we were young, make sure that we would write a beautiful letter with the right words, right style, etc. This cannot exist anymore because you only uh, communicate via this thing, which I don't even give it a name. Tap, tap, tip, 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 tip. It's like a telegram. It's a monstruosity. Relax. Show me the same respect as you could show to any other human. Don't look at the critics, mm -hmm. because it'll throw you off your game. You stay true to your vision. Uh, you know, I think give you the standard crap. I, I mean, love her, the shit she's spitting. Your crap, okay, not the my standard. My crap is really, if you think of something, honestly, you could be dead tomorrow. So, really, even at your age, you could be fucking dead tomorrow. No, I'm serious. Look out, the media, <laughs> you know. Just if you really want to do it, you really ought to do it. I would probably yeah. encourage people to do what you are passionate about. Like you hear people say, I can't believe I'm being paid to do this. That would be wonderful. <laughs> do something that challenges you for all the expectations that you might think you have and limits you might have. Try and see the world through other people's eyes. We don't all have the same opportunities, and it's up to us to make sure that others have the same opportunities we do. Every day you got to grow, and every day you got to learn something. Yeah. You can't just lie in bed and eat cookies. You have to <laughs> get up and get going. You don't know it all. For sure you don't know it all. So don't think you do. And you never Keep will. Keep on learning. Learn from somebody every day. Don't take out more than you put in. Probably try and do the best thing you can by yourself. That was fire. She said don't take out more than you could put in. Well, and then when you know and love yourself, you can actually give a little bit more to other people. Never do anything that might cause remorse because remorse is something that you cannot repair. Turn a cheek. If someone comes at you or yells at you or insults you, look the other way. Don't worry about what people think. Don't worry about the feedback yeah. you're getting. Mm -hmm. I mean, take the feedback because that helps you refine, refine what you're working on and it can be useful, but just stop worrying so much and just do something interesting and yeah. that's it. Don't put off to tomorrow what you can do you today. Do today just yeah. be a good person. Heard if you're a good one. person, somehow everything works out to be good. <laughs> <Yeah. Why everybody? laughs> drops it, drops it out. If you like this video, then you're definitely gonna like this video right here. And if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to do so. Thank you for watching. I'm Will, and as always, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. I love that. Thank you, Will. That was fucking dope. Thank you to you guys who recommended me this. This video was awesome. And like I said, yeah, I truly did know most of the stuff. One of my things, one of my big things, it was just, it wasn't, it wasn't a big thing, but, um, okay there was a lot of diverse culture there man but i was like damn that's crazy like it's just like this is something that's programmed in you being whether you're african-american whether you're haitian whether you're black american whether you're native american that's holy shit and it doesn't really matter because we're all human but damn there was not a single black person in this that damn and it made me realize myself for a minute i'm like damn i actually am programmed you can learn lessons from everybody that my grandma's white, she's Italian, but you know, and I'm a mixed family, Native American and Italian. But just what blew my mind was there is not a single one. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. It almost made me feel like we were fucking extinct. <laughs> I'm a joke, so that's the part of my joking, but but I'm comfortable to talk about it. I was just like, damn, not one. <laughs> damn. That really hits. Damn, I'm really realizing the programming growing up. And now I see why certain people just like want to see more of that on TV, though it really doesn't matter and it won't move any. It doesn't really matter to move anything forward because what are we really moving forward? Let's just worry about being humans. There's no separation between race, bro. It's just an illusion that keeps us stuck. But damn. Damn, not a single. No. Well, let me be the black guy for this video. That's not old. It could be done at 22. A lot of the stuff they said is a lot of the things that I believe. When it comes to traveling, certain things like that, those are different. I hear those things a lot. But the other stuff, man, stop worrying about other people and what people think and all that shit. That's such a big thing, man. That shit can kill you. That shit can really kill you. And like things like fear and stuff of the future. It's like you don't you don't get time back. Like it's like I'm never, at least now, I'm never going to be 18 again. 
Maybe if the matrix resets, I'm a different person. I'm the same person living out Earth again. Either way, my memory would be wiped. You, like I'm never, I'm never gonna be in this instance of time in the now. I will not be 18 again. You can't regret things. You gotta move forward, and you just gotta keep it pushing. You gotta have a strong mindset, and mindset, like he said, mindset is everything. Anyways, much love, moonlight. I love y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.